How's it going everyone? So as you can see in this part, it's already being sped up. So um, this is kind of like a happy, lucky coincidence. But what I did in this part was I kind of just wanted to take a chill part, uh, not anything or not add anything new, but just kind of go through everything we've done previously and adjust the masks and get it to be uh, a bit more accurate to the reference. Um, funny enough though, what happened was um, there was kind of a crash. I know we've been experiencing a lot of crashes, but this one completely corrupted the audio. So the video was fine, but the audio, like Audacity just crashed and it didn't save anything. Uh, and there was no backup whatsoever. So what I decided to do was just sort of do a sped up version of this and just sort of give a, a basic gist. Um, but like I said, lucky for us, this was uh, nothing new. This is similar to how we ended things off uh, in the last part where we just sort of went through all of our masks. But as you can see, um, just refining masks, going over reference. Um, I kind of start this off with affecting the base paint of everything. So I make the tone a lot more blue. So we're getting some cool colors in and then the rust and the dirt and all that kind of stuff is bringing the warmth in. So I make it a lot cooler. I actually turn the roughness way down as well. So it's a lot more shiny. And then to sort of combat that, I go through all of the different layers once again and uh, affect it and build it up. And just once again, look at reference more, apply it a little bit better. And, um, yeah, there's really not too much to comment on. In fact, while I was commenting on this, there was a lot of pauses because it was just sort of rehearsing or rather regurgitating stuff that we already went over. So lucky for us that this is kind of a good spot to have this happen. Uh, but either way, it's uh, not ideal at all. I like to do these in real time and have the sped up version kind of at the start of the chapter for an optional way of viewing it. But either way, it is what it is. Um, there is one new layer that I do add to this and it's kind of like this bumpy corner, but we're just affecting the height and uh, I'm just sort of painting it in like we've done a million times. So nothing too new. Um, and that's at the very end as well. So hopefully you guys still are able to enjoy or maybe learn something from this. Uh, but yeah, I'm just kind of working with what I had and I didn't want to sort of go back to an old save and sort of redo it. Um, I'm kind of trying to get this thing done. We've been on this for quite a while, so just trying to power through. Hopefully you guys understand that. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next part where we're sort of moving to the upper half of the frame and we might actually be able to get it all done in the next part. Hopefully, we'll see. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching this. Hopefully you enjoy and I'll catch you in the next part where things are back to normal. Okay, see ya.